and thank you for tuning in to my review of 100 Bullets First Shot Last Call. If you missed this in my graphic novel haul, I'm going to tell you what it's about right here. Um, basically, the, on the back it says, if a stranger offered you a, the chance to get away with murder, would you take it? This is another Vertigo line comic book series. Um, this was also one of the books that was recommended to be turned into a TV series or a movie. And it was another book that Goodreads had recommended to me. Now, um, I'm not really one of those people that really likes reading too many, like, crime, crime series books. But, um, I found it to be okay. It was interesting. Basically, there's this guy. I'm not 100% sure what his name is. I think his name might be Grant. And because I want this to be spoiler-free, spoiler I'm not going to go into too many details. I'm just going to give you guys the premise of what it's about. And I'm assuming that every volume after this is the same premise. But anyways, this guy, who I think his name is Grant, he approaches these people and with an attache case full of 100 bullets and an unregistered gun that cannot be traced. The bullets and the gun cannot be traced back to anyone. And he tells that with proof of having been done wrong to them. Each individual that's approached, they have some kind of circumstance. Some event had happened to them and someone had set them up or someone had, you know, done something to harm them in some way. And he supplies proof of who had done these things to them, what their name is, how to find them, and with, of course, the proof of the wrongdoing to back up why he, you know. But then they're given the choice, you know. He doesn't say that there's anything that's required. They don't have to specifically do anything. They can, they can choose to just not listen to anything he has said, they can just walk away and not have any repercussions. But one rule he does say is that they're not allowed to tell anyone about what his offer was, that he had offered them something. Now, I don't know. They never say that this guy is a cop or who he is. He's all, like, really mysterious. Somehow, when he approaches these people, he knows everything about them. He knows their name. He knows family and friends. He knows, like, where they've lived. He knows everything about their past. It's really creepy and really weird. The meat of this story is all about giving the, the opportunity to get away with revenge on the wrongdoings that have happened to these people and whether they choose to take that revenge or whether they choose to walk away from that. I think there were three or four different instances of people that he picked, like, One's just a back story, and I'm not going to say, I, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But yeah, if you're into, like, say, like, Reservoir Dogs or, you know, Pulp Fiction, you might find this series interesting. I rated it three stars on Goodreads. I wasn't, like, overly impressed with it. Um, the artwork is, it's kind of average. It's, it's okay. It's, it's not that bad. It's not that great. Um, one of the things I did appreciate was I really appreciated the, the covers, the painted covers of the single-issue comic books. I thought those were pretty good. But, uh, yeah, it's an average so-so series. Um, I do have one other volume of this at home to read, so um, I'm going to read that one before I decide whether I want to read more of this series. But, yeah, that is my little review of 100 Bullets first shot last call it's it's a different book and um that's all i can say about it really but uh i hope it's something you guys would like to check out if you're into to crime or you know gangster kind of themed stories till next time catch you later guys